So hello friends, this is a video um, which is going to be a part of a 30-day video which is a technique that a lot of people may have used but I don't know if you have taken the time and uh, um, the chance so if you have given the chance to yourself to practice this video so if you want to be uh, fluent in your English skills then um, you may take this um, method into consideration. For example, for myself, for those who are new to this channel, I may say that I'm uh, not a native speaker, um, so not uh, from England or the USA or English-speaking countries. I'm from the Eastern Balkan and um, I have to say that I practiced um, different ways, different methods and um, um, it's not a kind of easy journey to, to achieve a special level of fluency, but nevertheless, uh, you have to try all the different possible methods that suit best for you or are the most uh, like um, qualitative for you. So those which make you feel at your ease, okay? So um, this is, as I mentioned, the first set of a 30 day video uh, like talk has show just like this one here where you could uh, take your phone press record and just keep talking it doesn't matter uh, if you're making mistakes or if you're being um, I don't know if you're not being fluent at the first sessions but it is crucial it is very important for you to be persistent to insist in your um, or to insist in this process so um, I wrote something um, in my notebook and I guess that um, this first one is going to be about my daily routine so um, it is very important for you just to keep talking okay so uh, give the chance to yourself to be part of this 30-day method take your phone press record and for five up to ten minutes every day record yourself okay and while you do have some free time some extra time uh, listen to what you've said okay and and the most important thing if you are persistent enough to finish this 30-day method you're going to check that um, the first video is way different from from the 30th video okay so the last video is going to be like a day and night comparison everything will be so you if you do try it you are going to be astonished you're going to be amazed from the from the results so i strongly suggest you uh, to take this um this like to embrace this method so if you want to improve your fluency take into consideration this method record yourself for five or ten minutes a day okay so i wrote something as i told you you may do it as well i'm able to uh, say it without writing as well but i kind of had some ideas in my mind and uh, uh, I just wanted to uh, write simple sentences to make it as clear as possible. Okay, so the first one, um, so this is the first video of the 30 videos process. Okay, so I'm going to speak about myself, about my daily routine, so what I usually do during a day, and I'm going to mostly use sentences starting with the personal pronoun I. Okay, so um, this is what you might do as well. So you may start talking about your daily routine using the personal pronoun I, okay? And very simple verbs, okay? So try to use the very... Um, so uh, try to, to, to keep things simple. So the first videos, uh, they might sound a little funny and you might be stumbling and you might like press record or, or stop recording, delete the video and whatever, but this is not the case. Uh, your phone is something private and it's only you. So uh, uh, find comfort in the idea that it is only you who is going to, to watch these videos later on. Okay, so there's no need for you to get embarrassed or, or something like that. So 
um, just 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 press record and that's it this is very important for you press record and that's it okay so um, I'm going to start reading this as a first time maybe the other videos I'm not going to read them I'm just going to speak or say them as they come freely into my mind so I wake up at six o'clock every day I have a shower and brush my teeth. Then I get dressed and I go to the kitchen and have breakfast or grab some breakfast. Right after that, I take my bag, my car keys. Well, actually, it is, uh, it is just one key because I do only have one key. I do not have a spare. So I lie to you about this one. I do not have car keys. I just have one car key, okay? So I take my car key and leave for work. I drive for almost 30 minutes every day. And I do have to say that I enjoy this process or I enjoy driving, like I, I enjoy this 30 minute of time because um, I travel alone and everything is quiet, I feel relaxed. So I like my mornings to be quiet, okay? So I have time to think, I have time to meditate, okay? But when I get to work, it gets really noisy. I work like I'm a teacher, I'm a school teacher, and um, <laughs> you know, when you get to school, uh, the voices of the kids like uh, playing or screaming or um, you know how it gets when you go to school but it's okay it's it's a pleasant noise it's not something disturbing okay um, I usually teach for five or six hours every day and um, I do have to say that I also enjoy the process of teaching I really um, kind of um, enjoy this time because um, when you know that you're doing something good for this generation um, it gives you a specific pleasure it gives you a, a good a good emotion okay so um, uh, it is not tiring okay I'm, I'm turning the page right now so after school I have a bit of um, relaxation I do have some uh, some free minutes some spare time before I drive back home I may say that I may have 20 or kind of um, 25 minutes and I use this time um, to do something useful maybe or most of the times I use it to grab a coffee real quick and um, then I just drive back home, okay? So there I am, traveling again, driving again. And uh, I have to say that everything is nice and quiet, okay? so. Um, I do like playing some music time after time, but I just keep it in a very low voice, just uh, in that perfect sweet spot, okay? So uh, not to be very, like to become a nuisance. So I just uh, want my uh, car stereo to play some very smooth music. So I get back home, park my car, then I have to say that I start my second job which uh, is again related to teaching and um, I'm working from 2 until 8 o'clock in the evening um, I know that for some it may sound a bit exhausting and um, yes it is exhausting you're listening to the pages turning right now that's quite a noise so, as I said, I know that for some it is um, the idea of getting really exhausted, but um, when you do a job that you really like, then it is not a job anymore, my friends. It is, it is a passion, it is a hobby. So, um, for, those, so for those who really love or really like what they're doing, I do believe that you're going to understand what I'm telling you. So if you do something and if you really like doing that thing, 
that it is not a job anymore. So you are not going to watch the time um, every 10 minutes, like when it is going to finish, but you enjoy the process. Okay, so that's what I'm um, what I'm doing. So I enjoy the process, um, even when I'm teaching at the school, public school, or even at my second job. I have completely changed the script. <laughs> now I'm, I'm looking at the notebook, then I, I have to say that uh, I've written different things, but I'm saying different things, but it's not a problem. So um, I have to say that I do not have a lot of time to have lunch properly, so I just kind of grab something real quick, and um, I, I'm not really fond of eating, and um, I have to say that uh, as the expression says, there are some people who leave to eat and there are other people who eat to leave. So I'm one of those people who eat to leave. So for me, if eating was not invented at all, it was not going to be a problem. So um, that's why I do not kind of um, take my time to have lunch properly. I just grab something real quick. Okay, but I do enjoy dinner then. So I enjoy dinner with my family and we kind of um, discuss about the day and with my kids and with my wife and my, um, so my family. And um, right after that, uh, I do find some extra time to uh, please my other passions. Okay, so I really like dedicate um, I really like dedicating some other time to my other passions and uh, I have to say that I really love um, uh, playing music so I've worked I've played music for a long time like 25 years or 27 ish something like that uh, years I've played music DJing and um, or producing um, beats of soundtracks and things like that um, I have to say that unfortunately I stopped playing music because I had um, a hearing problem and for those who work with music they know what I'm talking about so loud music um, kind of uh, damages your hearing so be careful when you listen to loud music because um, um, you are not going to be able to hear some specific frequencies in the future and I've worked with some very powerful um, um, loudspeakers or powerful systems. Nevertheless, I was talking about my daily routine. So um, I like music, computers or electronics and everything that has especially to do with electronics. And uh, I really enjoy this time as well. Okay, I, I kind of enjoy being among lots of um, electronical devices or equipments and uh, and uh, musical equipments, music equipment, so loudspeakers, amplifiers, guitars, keyboards, whatever. So I enjoy being right there. Most of the time doing absolutely nothing, <laughs> just by looking at them and that's um, that's kind of relaxing for me. So I call this um, peaceful time. I call this uh, a time where I find peace. So I always stick to the idea that having a passion or a hobby um, gives your life a certain purpose. So that's why I kind, I, I kind of um, strongly advise myself. So time after time, I find a new hobby, but mostly related to the old ones, to the old hobbies, like, as I mentioned, music and electronics, mostly. And, um, the last page, <laughs> as you can listen to the to the sound of the page turning, I hope that the microphone, which is right here, is not picking up a lot of noise. Okay, so um, after I spend um, some quality time with my other hobbies or passion, like um, as I mentioned, I. Um, make a summary of the day in my mind like a, a type of meditating and I tell to myself like are there other things that I might be able to speak about or I'm that might be able to, to think about like are there other stuff that I have to deal with if yes I may give some extra time to those ideas and if not then I think that it's time to sleep because you know tomorrow is a new day 
okay and a new day my friend is a new gift okay so we have to embrace the gift we we get like a new gift every single day and um, if we do not appreciate this uh, extraordinary gift then we do have a problem okay so every day is a new day I keep telling this to myself every single day is a new day a new opportunity so um, I always um, have an expression as well which um, I may say so a human being must have a certain peace and harmony with himself so peace and har I tell to myself peace and harmony to myself so um, if I'm peaceful and if I do have the harmony with myself uh, I call this like a well-being situation and if I'm peaceful and positive then my positivity and my uh, harmony is going to affect even the people around me and um, I think that um, it has given it results so if I'm peaceful then even the people around me are going to be peaceful so peace and harmony don't forget about this one peace and harmony with yourself so the very last thing that I do right before I go to sleep I kind of uh, scroll up and down my social media if uh, there are messages or if there are things that I might be interested to 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 watch and mostly I'm not that interested to watch lots of stuff um, recently I even opened a TikTok account and um, um, surprisingly um, I kind of uh, got it in a very considerable number like 12,500 followers and uh, I follow none of them because um, I don't know why I don't know why but uh, it's not that I'm really fond of social media nevertheless um, I really like YouTube because um, it gives so it's a much more like a um, serious platform and, and, and gives you a wide variety of possibilities just like this one right here um, it has given me the chance to help lots of people um, from my country to learn English um, or at least I try to uh, give instructions to um, the people of my country how to study English how to um, so how to kind of become fluent at some extent so I try to give them like um, some grammar structures or um, or positivity <laughs> so I, I even try to uh, um, teach them maybe how to um, gain confidence in, in their speaking process as well okay so um, basically this is um, I've written some other stuff as well but I'm not going to read them and um, uh, let's make a summary of what I told you at the beginning so this is going to be the start of a um, 30 video process and I hope that this um, method is going to be applied from you as well so apply it to yourself just take your phone I don't have the phone but I, I have the remote here so just place your phone in front of you and press record and speak about a specific topic so it doesn't matter what the topic might be the important thing is just to speak if you do have the possibility to speak to other people that's like terrific but if you do not have so most of the people say that well I want to speak okay the sound of the other computer on the background or the, right there so um, if you do have the possibility to communicate to other people to engage yourself into long or short conversations that would be great okay so uh, practice is the best possible way but um, if not just like myself in this case so I do not live in an English speaking country as I told you I live in uh, Eastern Balkans and more precisely in Albania so I'm Albanian and um, I have to say that uh, you have to give like a lot 
lots of opportunities to yourself. You have to find all the possible ways how to make it work. So, um, as there is the expression, fake it till you make it. Okay, so um, um, just pretend like you're talking to someone, pretend like you're asking questions, pretend like you're um, answering those questions. You, you might be the one who's asking, you might be the one who's answering them back as well. But um, in this case, you get fluency. So a lot of people say, um, I do understand a lot or I may understand everything that you are saying, but it is very difficult for me because I do not um, find it easy to answer back or to get engaged or involved into a conversation because uh, I find it hard to um, connect the sentences, the grammar structures correctly, but it doesn't matter. It So remember this one, it doesn't matter if you do not have that kind of um, perfect strategy. I may, uh, like, um, I don't know, uh, I'm going to check uh, whether I'm going to, so I'm going to check afterwards in the edit process if I've uh, made lots of mistakes or not, but it doesn't matter. I'm saying it right now, it doesn't matter. So every time that I kind of have a discussion with uh, English speaking people, uh, I already passed that stage where I kind of uh, start thinking whether I made mistakes or not. It doesn't matter. The important thing is that I understand what people are saying to me and people understand what I'm telling them, okay, what I'm saying to them. So that's primary, the basic, primarily the basic of uh, what you really need to do. You have to give yourself freedom, the freedom of speech, as, as the famous freedom of speech of uh, Martin Luther King. So you just have to feel comfortable and mostly, or the most important thing is to enjoy what you're doing. So once again, this is the first video, um, the, 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 like the first video of a 30 video uh, process. And um, I do not, I'm not recording this video with, um, with a cell phone, with a mobile. I'm using my Sony ZV-A10 ZVE10 camera and um, uh, it's not professional but it's okay I don't need like um, extra things <laughs> uh, but you may use your phone as well so once again what you need to do is take your phone press record and say whatever comes into your mind be spontaneous I wrote some things today because I even, like, I had a kind of uh, what am I going to say or whatever. But I saw that, yeah, at some extent, the, the information or the, the sentences that I had written there helped me, but not that much. Okay, so once again, my dear friend, be positive, be confident, and talk to your camera, fake it until you make it. <laughs> so talk to your camera and... Uh, uh, just speak until you reach that fluency and that self-confidence in yourself, okay? So be strongly confident that you can make it. And if you are, I'm repeating myself as I said at the beginning, so if you are going to finish all the 30-day process of making videos, you are going to see some amazing changes after 30 days. So thank you very much for listening. I may have said lots of stupid things as well, but um, uh, this was a part of my day. So this is not always, uh, this, is, this isn't always my day, but I just mentioned something um, like the usual days, what I usually do. So I mentioned my daily routine. And for tomorrow, I'm going to bring another topic. But the, the important thing is not um, the content of what I'm saying, but the important thing is to keep talking, to be spontaneous. And this is going to help you a lot in gaining that self-confidence while you are speaking. So thank you for listening. And let us hope that this is going to be helpful as a method. So I am going to... Uh, continue this method with you. I'm going to do this 30-day method 
and let us meet in the second video of this process. So thank you, have a great time. Peace and harmony with yourself. That is the most important thing. Thank you.